The Show and Shine. We told you we'd feature those winners a little later in the show. It's time right now. Welcome back to IRP, the DHRA Diesel Nationals. Take a look at a gorgeous Chevrolet truck because this is the winner of the best Chevy GMC award that was sponsored by Geno's Garage. And under the hood, a big Duramax diesel. Those things make a lot of power. And then when you mess around with them, they make even more power, right, Jared? That's correct. What all did you do to this? Uh, this truck has got, got an edge box with attitude uh, mount. Uh, it's got a Quadzilla programmer and Allison transmission. And then in addition to that, you started fancying it up a lot, huh? Yes, I have. I added a good mark hood, a uh, set of stacks. It's got a flame putt-go grill, um, APC tail lights, a line of fire tailgate line. Um, just about anything I can find, I'll put on this truck. Now, do you drive this on the street? This truck is driven seven days a week on my farm. I teach school in Pendleton County, and it goes takes me to school and gets groceries as well as haul 40,000 pounds six days or seven days a week. Living for trucks. That's what the guys do. Let's get back to more of the action right now. And that action is the burnout competition. They have a little bit of everything going at the DHRA Nationals. Take a look at this. Now, the way this works, folks, is they're given about 30 seconds to make as much smoke as they possibly can. The audience cheers. You see the guy with the timer standing right there. And, yeah, they burn a lot of rubber. They have to scrape it back off the concrete and start over every uh, second or third truck that comes up there. The rules, well, just make as much smoke as you possibly can. <laughs> Looks like it's on fire, doesn't it? You can hear the enthusiasm of the crowd in the background as they completely envelop those trucks in smoke. These guys are serious. And about every kind of diesel truck you can imagine, remember it's the DHRA Diesel Hot Rod Association. That means it's got to be a diesel. If it has to do with diesels, they've got something for you to do at their national events. Now the horn he's holding is the timer. You see they're making so much noise with the burnout that they actually use one of those air horns like you would use on a boat or something. Makes a big loud screech so the driver can hear it. And this is a decibel meter to measure the audience applause level. Jack? What is your secret to winning these things? Mass diesel performance. They, uh, they really help me put a lot of power to the ground now. So let's get back to the drag racing action round number two coming up right now here on IRP's Quarter Mile. Kevin Meredith out of Bowling Green with his Dodge against Ted Kobe. Meredith in the previous round was the quicker of the two trucks running at 1145 to Kobe's 1241. Looks like Meredith again wire to wire 1142, 117 miles per hour to Kobe's losing 1230, 110. Well, you go 1142 in qualifying. You win this one with an 1142. This thing's running like a bracket truck. Yeah, we're just trying to bend tuning on it and we got it. To, it ain't where we need it, but we got it where it's consistent. Then Mark Slatek will be up out of Illinois, and Darren Morrison, remember the guy that ran the phenomenal 10-second ET, and on top end, you can hear something wrong with that motor? Well, he didn't make it, folks. So Mark Slaytek will take the automatic win. Now, Jack Corpella has another one of our Show and Shine winners. Thanks a lot, Ted, and one of my favorite classes out here at the DHRA Nationals is the best work truck category. These are the trucks that truly put in the work day in, day out. Check out this beautiful 2001 Dodge Ram that we found with the Cummins diesel horsepower and Mark, congratulations. Thank you very much. You won best work truck. Best work truck, yep. Now tell me what's going on in the back. I see all your equipment. What do you do for a living? Uh, I'm an independent pipe welder and structural steel welder and bucket work. Anything that's to do with welding, in shop fabrication, we take care of it all. So this is certainly not just a show truck. It gets the work done day in, day out. This, is, this works every day, 365 days a, a, a year seven days a week there's no real break for it you don't work it you don't make the money with all the welding with all the work how do you keep this truck so clean <laughs> it's my best form of advertisement so it's when i get a couple days off like today we're out here we clean it up and we show it and we shine it but it's, it'll be back to work come tuesday morning well mark thanks a lot and you certainly see it all out here at the dhra nationals all right thank you very much jack the diesel power bracket class coming up next we'll take a look first of all at damian pullen from Corydon, indiana 2003 dodge of course cummins powered he'll be going against 
Derek Stump from Mishawaka, Indiana, 1995 Dodge. Of course, that's also come inspired. Now, you do see a handicap start right there in the tree. They have dial-ins. Stump with a 1478, pulling with a 1357. It could be very close down on top end. Eh, about a half a truck length. Derek Stump picks up the win. Dead on with a 1. 1478 with a 189 miles per hour. Well, I believe in bracket racing, going dead on your dial-in is a good thing. Was it that close? Right on. Oh, boy. I tell you, it got pretty close to the end there, and I just had enough time just to look back and see it was enough behind me. And uh, I skidded it right there at the end, hit the brakes, and uh, good thing I did, apparently. No kidding, you would have broke out. Here's Scott Spees. He'll get the buy run in a borrowed truck. This is a tow vehicle. Boy, is it a beauty, huh? With the wing and everything. Made several passes to get it dialed in. He'll face Derek Stump in the final. Now let's check in once again with Jack Corpella. Well, the trophies for Best Ford. The truck's a 2004 excursion. And, you know, right off the showroom floor, these things are like the biggest SUVs that Ford makes. And... Look, at, we found a couple that's taken it even further. Uh, beautiful truck that you have here. It's not mine. It's not yours. It's hers. Oh, okay, smart man. Very smart man directing it to, uh, I take it that's your husband? Yes, it is. Oh, well, you guys have got a, a beautiful ride here. Tell me about what, some of the things you've done to it. Um, we've put a four-inch exhaust all the way to the back, stainless. We've put uh, air cleaner on it. We've put an edge box with an attitude on it. Uh, four-inch lift kit, uh, tires, and wheels. Put some electronics on it. Now, how is your husband trained so well to automatically say this is your truck? Some women get diamonds, I get wheels. <laughs>